Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Uh, uh, adopt that one, they settled for Musonda Armstrong. So again, they realized that Mr. Musonda Armstrong is not a local person. That's how now they waited for a regent, that little girl, and picked her. Hence, filing nominations very late. Then, because they were late, they didn't know what to do. They had to go in line to say, Look, our candidate was abducted, so can you give us a chance to file nominations? Okay, that's what transpired there. That's why you see that even when they were giving you that press briefing. They did not produce a medical report. There was no medical report in Rwanda of anyone being beaten. There was no police report of anyone being abducted. So it was all life after life. And I and I made to take action by suing that that girl. Now the other thing is uh, yesterday I was watching the the press brief the the, the Vicho rally for the opposition political parties. I think it's important as Osaka province and the former PF member or former PF minister to touch certain things they talked about my colleagues who are very desperate. Uh, they said that uh, UPN is a third project. We abandoned project which PF left. Now, my question, immediately when they said that, I realized that who abandoned project? If not Eddie Garungu. When Eddie Garungu took over, we had the bottom road in, in southern province, which was started by Michael Sat. It was abandoned. Who abandoned it? It was the Eddie Garungu abandoned that project. We had another road, Record Zero Road, going to Chiaba. Who abandoned it? It's Eddie Garungu who abandoned that. Okay? If they are saying they worked as PF, why are they crying for development today? Why are they crying for development? Because they went. If you ask one of their member, member uh, Sunday Chanda, he will tell you that he has seen development because of CDF which was given by UPND, which has been increased by UPND. Even at 60, 70, close to 70, politicians do want to run. A gang of politicians ganged against it. I know you hate the church, but even if you hate it, Please, can you like what he's doing? Hate it as a person, but can you just support him, <coughs> like him what he's doing? Sontapo, uh, at Sontapo, at Sontapo, if you go to the room at Sontapo, you put a map on the Surat Bombe, because now they will be having on it. It's, and I tell you, Jimmy is not a man to play with. I know what he means. This country worked. Give him time. There's heaven on earth coming to this country. Imagine Russia. Russia, Russia was looked like a, 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 a town where there was civil war. And now more than 100 million will be pumped in just to remove the water. And from there, <laughs> there, will be, there will be mining activities in back to Russia. Please, even if you don't appreciate. Even if you don't appreciate, you should at least see what the church is doing. Yeah, you, you, we all saw him. He was in uh, Copper Belt for five days. You never saw Kadas. <laughs> you never saw Kadas in the streets in front of him because it was work after work, work and work and work and work. That is what they said is. He means well for this country. He needs a lot of time and a lot of support because the damage to this country was just too much. Was just too much. Everyone today wants to talk about UPND. UPND this, UPND that. No, there is shrinking democracy in, in UPND. How many journalists were beaten by their PF secretary? 
in ruling this day that is still seated here. I remember. He was beaten badly at Secretariat. <laughs> Prime TV, including Uncle Freddy's post, his paper was closed. Tell me, daily nation, the way you are insulting the president, even the way you screamed the, the, the headline, Marikita with a gun. How many times are you are going to accuse me of those things? You accused me in PF? When, I was, when you were in government, I was arrested, I've stolen a Blackberry phone, I've stolen uh, ballot papers, I've stolen this, I've stolen that, I've invented property, four counts, including 350 pounds in the handbag. I was acquitted, you're not tired. This end in Kavir, you accused me of, no, he had, the, uh, he had the offensive weapons, you could not prove those offensive weapons, I was acquitted. Today you want to celebrate that I had a gun to a little girl who's just like my daughter. A small girl, me to have a gun, for what? From 1991, 1990, since the time I started politics up to date, I've never, never used a gun. I've never produced a gun in my political career. But also, there's not even any docket opened against me for assaulting someone during politics. Never. Never. 150 votes, you go there, then you produce a gun. Are you normal? Antonio Man, stop those lies, my brother. I know opposition you are, I know. But look, you are there for a very, very long time, yeah? Because we are serious people, eh? I'm very proud of my president, what he's doing, actually. So he needs a lot of support. He needs a lot of, a lot of support. We are going to work where you have left. Unfortunately, you didn't leave anything to talk about. Or what you left was corruption. Cost of living. Cost of living, there's no money in circulation. But how many, how many, how many members of UPN of of PF are keeping money 60 million in the in the in the in their homes, in the trunks? Then you expect to have uh, uh, money in circulation. When women, girls, slave people are keeping billions of money in the in the houses, then you, you want the money to be in circulation. Where where is that money going to come from? Where is the money going to come from if your slave queens, your gardeners? Your former ministers are still keeping money in the trunks at home. Where is that money going to come from? And, and I will request the president to, to consider changing the color of the currency because it will be cheaper to change the color of the currency so that people can bring money to the what? To the to the to the bank. You see how much money we're going to have in the in the in the economy. Just to change the color. The color of 10 quarter goes to 50 quarter. The color of 50 quarter goes to 100 quarter. Because that is not going to be expensive. Like changing the color, the color. Just to change the color, to confuse the colors, you will see the money these guys have. You are the one keeping the money, then you expect the money in the, in the circulation. You are not going to paint UP and the black. At least the people of Zambia appreciate that even the orphans today, they are going to school. Imagine 60, 60 million, two, two, two years, 60 point something million in Rwanda in failure of Suez. Imagine, it has never happened. At Kaunga Primary School where we had a filing in nominations, new infrastructure, New infrastructure, the classrooms, new new infrastructure because of CDF. Then you want to paint it to black. Then you have better ideas. Can you give us the solutions and stop insulting us day in, day out? Smart people. Stop that. I know you are used to getting free money, but I don't know for how long. Because we are here to stay. As long as we are doing the right thing, we are here to stay. And I don't know for how long because also your politicians who are giving you money from Aboshidika. And they are becoming slim and slim every day because they can't use that money properly. It's a stolen money. They can't use it. So even to give you very soon smart eagles, you, you have done it. And you come to us and we will come you. But you, when you come to us, you need to report factual things. Not propaganda after propaganda. Colleagues, that's what I called you for. I wanted to say that all oh, what is being said by these politicians, they can't just believe that ATH today is a president and is doing the right thing. Hence, all his lieutenants are being accused of this and that. And let me tell you, don't judge me by my skill. When you hear that no market is violent, then you think I'm violent. I'm not violent. I'm not a violent person. In fact, it's just my skin. I'm, I'm, I'm a boy brought up in the village. 
But just my skin which is deceiving you. When you talk about the gun, you all believe that it's true as the gun because of the gun. No, I didn't. I don't own guns. I don't play with guns. I last played with the gun when I was in France for 1998. When I left that, I, I never touched the gun again. Long time when I was in France, but 1998, when I surrendered, when I stopped, that's the time I stopped playing with guns. But people you always mistake, when you hear about fighting the being violent, you also want to believe because of my skin. When you ask my mother, she'll tell you that I'm a very dangerous person. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not a violent person. And indeed, I dislike violence. That's why I left PF. If I wanted, if I was a violent person, if you want to wear violence towards those PF, but I was a minister, because you've forgotten that I had to resign as a minister because of corruption and violence and lawlessness. Then why should I resign where there's violence I come where with, where they don't want violence and bring violence? I would have remained there, make money, like my colleagues. I remember my provincial ministers who made a lot of money, make a lot of money through Mukula. I would have remained to make money through Mukula. I said no. I resigned as a minister, I want to remind you. I left PF as a minister, I never left PF as, a, as, as an ordinary person. I left PF as a minister to come and start a new life to come and show Zambia that that life which was in PF was artificial, it was doing a lot of damage to Zambian people. I came here where UPND, where there is no violence, where HH, the same day they are doing it, it says, hold your fire, there is no violence, no cannibalism, and we all hold it, here we are. You are even able to, to come to Rwanda, fighting nominations without any bloodshed. Then you want to claim that we are harassed? It's not fair. But thank you very much for coming, colleagues. The lady, that's this little girl, it's unfortunate, but I have to take action by suing her as an individual. And I'm giving her for eight hours. By Wednesday, if she doesn't retract what she said, the lies she talked about, then I'll have no option but to take her to court and so that she can prove that indeed I did that. I, I didn't want to go for those elections because it's a small word. My, my provincial chairman, uh, Banda, is the one in charge of those elections. That's right. I just went to observe the filing nominations. But you know what? I'm going to go there so that the campaign gets, the socialists should find him on the ground. The only thing politicians hate me because I'm a grassroots person. I deal with grassroots. And I'm going there to campaign with my provincial chairman and my colleagues from the province. I want them. It doesn't matter whether it will be 90 votes, which we are going to get to win. I'm going to go there and camp so that they don't even seem to have relevance there. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you very much, Chair. I think this is clear in case there is any. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.